Okay, this is going to be a quick video on how to patch any hole, any tear, any puncture in one of our alternating pressure mattresses or pressure pads. Now, here I've got one of our alternating pressure pads. Uh, outwardly, it looks fairly intact, but if you'll notice here, what we've done is cut a little hole just through there. Now, with the included patch kit with the pad, this is a pretty simple fix. I'm using a darker colored pad, one that would normally be included with our alternating pressure mattress just for contrast, but normally the patch will match the color of whatever pad or mattress you're using. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, first on the patch, you're gonna notice there's kind of a matte rough side and there's a much more glossy, smooth, it feels on the sealed side. You're gonna to wanna to put that smooth sealed side down around the hole. In the patch kit, you're also gonna have a little tube of glue. To open that up, you just unscrew it, turn the cap over, you'll see there's like a little point in there. You just use that, push that in and down to break the seal there. Now, there's one way that we recommend doing it. You can do it either way, but we recommend when you're going to apply the glue, apply the glue around the hole to the pad itself, not to the patch. Um, one thing you want to also avoid is don't put the glue directly on the hole, because what could happen is as it seeps in, it could actually glue one side of the, the air chamber to the other, and you would end up having sort of a dimple there. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just apply a good amount of glue around the hole. You want to give it a little bit of space, but not too much because you don't want it to bleed out around the, the, uh, the patch if you can help it. Lay that on good and thick. Make sure to close up the little tube of glue so it doesn't stick to anything else. And then take that patch, shiny side down, lay it right down over the patch, or over the hole. And you wanna make sure it gets a good seal, but you don't wanna squeeze it too hard and push the glue in. Get something moderately heavy. I just got this drinking glass here. Set it down on the patch. Leave that there. That should dry within about two or three hours. Um, to be sure though, you wanna give it at least six hours to dry before reinflating the mattress. And you wanna make sure that when you do this, the mattress is deflated. That's key, because um, otherwise you may not be able to get the leverage and the pressure down on the patch in order to seal up the puncture. Okay, so we've had the patch applied for uh, a few hours now. It's just about dry, but you'll notice where we put the adhesive before was sort of close to the inside. If you have extra adhesive or extra material here, um, you can either trim that off. In this case, I'm just gonna apply a little more glue just in a few spots, just to kind of uh, tack it down. And then once again, just put the pressure back onto it with uh, whatever you had. Let that glue dry and uh, we'll revisit once this is all dry and we'll reinflate it. Okay, so it's been a few hours since we apply a little more glue to the patch. Um, as you can see, we're reinflating it. It's still, the pad is still folded up as we had it before, but there's air flowing through the chambers. The patch isn't bubbling. There's no movement from the edges here. Everything is inflating just fine. So you're all set to go.